Welcome to our lecture online. To find the area of a rectangle, we say the area is equal to the length times the width. So in this case, the length would be 20 centimeters and the width is 12 centimeters. So that's 200, that's 240 centimeters squared. So if we draw little lines, we draw 20 lines going this way where the separation of each line is one centimeter, we draw 12 lines this way where the separation of the lines is one centimeter and you count all the little squares that get formulated that way. So we'll give you a little feel of what that looks like. So if we draw little lines like this and we draw little lines like this, notice we end up with little squares that would be one centimeter by one centimeter and we would have 240 of those little squares and that's what we mean by the area of that rectangle. Here the area of a square Area is equal to the side squared because each side has the same length. And so this would be eight centimeters. We want to square that. So this is equal to 64 centimeters squared. Now the area of a triangle is a little bit different. What we do here is the area by definition is equal to one half the base, the side on the bottom here, that's called the base, times the height. And the reason why that works that way is that if you were to continue this straight like this and then you continue this straight like this, we now have a rectangle. It looks just like what we had over here and the area would simply be the length times the width. So the base here would be the length and the width would be the height. And if you then multiply the base times the height, you would get the complete area. But since it's cut in half by this diagonal line here, we then have to multiply it times one half. And so that's where the formula comes from for a triangle. So in this case, this is equal to one half times the base, which is 40 meters, times the height, which is 30 meters. And that would be 1200 divided by two, which is then 600 meters squared. Now, when you see something like this, this uh, is a little bit different. Here, again, we could say that the complete area here would be equal to one half the base times the height. So the height would be nine meters, the complete base would be 24 meters. So we could say that the area is therefore equal to one half times the base times the height. And so this would be equal to one half times 24 meters. And the height in this case would be nine meters. And so half of that would be 12 times nine, that would be 100 and eight meters squared. And finally, that's kind of a strange tr looking triangle. Uh, notice that even though it looks very strange and it has kind of a, a weird shape like this, we could still find the area of this triangle by taking one half the base times the height. And then what we're going to do is we're going to find the area in a different way to show you that we, yes, we indeed will get the correct answer either way. So we can say that the area is equal to one half times the base times the height. So it's equal to one half times, the base in this case is nine meters, and the height in this case is eight meters. Half of eight is four, four times nine is equal to 36 meters squared. So what we could do is we could find the area of this entire triangle, then subtract the area of this triangle, and we should get the remainder. So what we could say is that the area is equal to the area of this entire triangle. So the whole base would then be 15 meters. So it would be one half times the entire base, which is 15 meters, and the height, which is therefore eight meters. And now we subtract from that this missing piece right here. So it's one half times the base, which is six meters. And the height is also eight meters. And when we work all this out, we should get the same 36 square meters. Let's see, that's correct. So half of eight is four, four times 15, that would be 60 meters squared for the area of the entire triangle. From that, we subtract one half times six times eight. So one half times eight is four, four times six is 24, 24 meters squared. And if we take 60 meters squared minus 24 meters squared, that is indeed 36 meters squared. And we get the same result as what we got over here. So you can see that that formula works no matter what the shape of your triangle is. And that's how we find the perimeter and the area of these various what we call 
quadrilaterals and triangles. Quadrilaterals, kind of a, a, a mouthful, isn't it? That's how it's done.